Hi guys. In this tutorial, I just thought it would be really important to go over a few troubleshooting problems, um, things that happen when you're constantly embroidering and sometimes making mistakes, uh, and just how to fix those mistakes without too much trouble. Um, most of the problems are, most of the mistakes are relatively easy to fix. Uh, and I've got a couple of scenarios here, so I'll take you through a couple of different things that you can do. So in this example here, uh, I was trying to do a, a two stitch pattern and then realized that I did four in the same rather than stepping it up. The easiest way, if you've only got a couple of stitches to undo, probably the easiest way is just to reverse your stitching. So you find the last square that you went into or the last hole and you're basically just reversing everything. So that makes that last stitch disappear. And that makes that one disappear. Now one of the things you just have to be careful of when you're doing that is to move the thread out of the way before you put the needle into the hole. So if I was to do it now with the thread um, without the hole being obvious, I run the risk of putting the needle halfway through all those threads. So if I was to come up in there, you can see that I've kind of destroyed the thread. So as soon as you bring the needle through, you are actually going to damage those. So to avoid that is just with your finger behind, if you can see my finger poking around behind, hold the thread out of the way so that you have a clean hole. See how now the threads are completely out of the way and you can poke your needle through that, making the stitch completely disappear. So again, in this stage, instead of just putting the needle through there where you're going to damage the threads, you just pull it out of the way and pop that through. And we're back to our starting position so that we can continue on with the pattern that we originally wanted. Okay, so that's method number one of fixing an error or an incorrect stitch, which happens all of the time. Another method that is important to know in terms of correcting incorrect stitches is that when you have quite a few that you want to go back or you can't really work out where your stitches are once you've done a whole heap and you want to play it safe in terms of removing the stitches the best way to do that is to remove the needle from your thread so you have your needle unthreaded and then all you're doing is popping it underneath the stitch and pulling it out so you're popping the needle under the stitch now the only thing you need to really be careful of in this method is that you're catching all of the threads so you may have to do a couple of little pokings and you can either use the eye of the needle or the sharper end but see intentionally I'm just going to grab a few and you can see one's been left so you just go back make sure that you've got all of them and pull that out
Okay. And then this one here we want to remove. So we just turn that over. And we're back to where we started. So there's two methods for undoing stitches. Another uh, issue to be solved that is common when doing bajalo or almost any form of embroidery um, is an issue of twisting or roping. So when you've been doing stitches for a while and going round and round and round, then sometimes what happens is your thread starts to curl and then it twists on itself which then often will cause knotting very quickly so as I do a stitch you can see that it starts to twist in on itself and more often than not will start to cause knotting okay very simple fix for this is Basically every so often when you notice that it starts curling, all you do is drop the needle so that it uncurls itself. When you pick up your needle again, just check that it's not roping and twisting any further. So you're free to continue your stitching. without it roping up. So just to illustrate, I've just been working on some stitches and then I've ended up with this little mess simply when I pulled my thread through so you'll see that there'll be tension and it'll get stuck now the worst thing you can do in this situation is to jam through or tug on your thread sometimes it may eventually come through but what it does is it damages the canvas uh, as well as possibly knotting up so you can't fix it the easiest thing to do for that is just pull it all back until you've cleared off the knot and keep stitching pull it back and keep stitching Troubleshooting problem um, with a knot. So as you're working through your designs, sometimes what happens is you get this funny loopy knot at the back. And it's almost a slip knot. Now it's, it looks worse than what it is and sometimes it does just come undone by prying it and pulling on it. But sometimes what you need to do is actually pop your needle inside that loop and just pull on it. Sometimes it's a matter of grabbing the other thread and it will, if you keep tugging on it, it eventually does loosen off. So it's a matter of just putting your needle in tugging on it a little bit and then it does loosen off to be able to clear that knot. Okay. 